Hi guys, good morning, I'm Rihanna. And my claim today is that money is the source of corruption. First, let me cite an expert from social, social psychologist, Paul Piff. As a person's levels of wealth increases, their feelings of compassion and empathy go down, and their feelings of entitlement, deservingness, and ideolo ideology of self-interest increases. So the way I can put this is like when I was younger, my teachers would ask me like, what do you want to be? And I'd be like, an ice cream man. And it's like, not because of the money, it's just like, that's like cool, you know, that's what I want to do. And then as I got older, they asked me like in fifth grade, I was like, I want to be the president because I want to like live in the White House, have all this money. And then I realized like, that's not what I want. Like I just want like the simple things in life, you know? And then, so, um, my second, like, okay, what I have for statistics is 1% of our world have more wealth than the rest of the 99%. So I'm like, where's, like, where's it going? And then 80% of the people live off of less than $10 a day, one third live off of $2 a day, and then 1.2 billion live off of $1.25 a day, so, or less than that actually. So I'm just thinking like, you know, coffee's $5, how are they doing that? And um, so what I think is if you don't use your money, it kind of piles up. So it's kind of like, like we, tr we trust the system, I guess. Like it's just numbers in our phones. And it's like, you know, it's just, it's going to waste. Like it could go to people who need it. And Abe Lincoln once said, nearly all men can stand at adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. And I agree with that. Um, my example is need is a reflexive psycho psychological feeling prompting direct action to achieve quick fulfillment. For example, when you're hungry and you want food, you go find food, you eat the food, you achieve your quick fulfillment. And um, in our society, fulfilling the need for money isn't easy. So when we accomplish this, we let our egos get to us and we lose sight of like what's important and like, it's just a distraction, kind of like our phones. Um, we lose sight of what's important, what's right in front of us, and we become a slave to money. And it reminds me of like my little brother, he was like playing The Sims yesterday, and I'm like, why are you like, so like hypnotized by like a fake world when you should be living in the real world? And um, in conclusion, I believe that money is the source of corruption and we should spread the money and the love. That sounds cheesy, but yeah. <laughs>